still have not caught up to him. But I do feel tension. Yup, here he is. Oh, oh. No visual. Here he comes. Leader. Oh, oh. yeah. Oh, that's a giant. Oh. That's 40. Oh. Oh, my oh. God. Oh, oh, this is it. <laughs> this just got real exciting. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to NB Edits. Today's video. It's starting off a little bit different scenery. I am downstairs in my editing area and I am currently actually editing today's video. You can see that is the video right there. And before I actually finish editing it, today is Thursday, the day that you're seeing this. And today is the day that we will be picking the two lucky winners for the real giveaway. Now, I wanted to give everybody a fair chance and do one full week uh, to get everybody entered in and I want to say thank you to everybody that watched the video subscribed and commented We had almost 400 people enter in the giveaway, which was way more than we were expecting So thank you guys for entering and watching the video. We do really appreciate it and don't worry there will be more giveaways in the future um, The outcome was awesome. So anyways, we will be giving away two reels to two lucky winners at the end of this video So you guys will have to stay tuned towards the end of the video That is when I will be picking the two lucky winners of the reels the inline and the spinning reel But today's video guys, you're gonna have to watch this It is one of the most epic pike days that we've had in quite some time Brandon and I both hooked up with absolute giants 40 inch pike you guys will have to stay tuned check that out but i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna start rolling the footage for the whole video but again you guys will have to stay tuned towards the end of the video and check out if you guys are the lucky winners of the two reels so without further ado let's get into today's video what is going on everybody welcome back to nb edits today i am up here in northern wisconsin and i'm going to be doing a solo trip for some northern pike now we decided to switch some gears a little bit the last like five six videos you guys have seen us do a lot of walleye fishing and walleye fishing by far is my favorite species to go for uh really all year but especially like winter i love setting tip ups i fish pros four big old walleyes up here it's just kind of my bread and butter but today like i said switching it up gonna be going for some northern pike now the lake that i'm at holds some absolute giants so I'm not going to be getting a ton of action, um, but hopefully the size is going to be there. I got big suckers, big shiners, setting three iFish Pros today. Um, I do think Brandon will be joining me at some point, but that is the goal for today. Big, big, big pike. This lake I've caught multiple 40 inches out of, so cross your fingers. Hopefully I can bring one topside for you guys. I got all day. It's beautiful. It's sunny. No wind. I love it. So I got to go ahead, got to get set up get the iFish Pros in, get the minnows on, and hopefully, really soon, we're gonna be hooked up. Oh boy, first flag of the day. What do we got? I'm going to assume this is a pike, but I am set up on rock bars, close to weeds, so really anything could bite. Yes, it is the morning, it's sunny out, but that doesn't mean you can still catch a walleye, a pike, a bass, perch, who knows? Anything that swims really in the water you could catch on a minnow. So this thing is running. I'm gonna go ahead, close the bale here, set the hook and see what we got for the first fish of the day. No way, did he just drop it? Nope. Swimming back at it. My drag was super loose. Doesn't feel too big. What do we got here? First fish of the day. Nice little run. I'm gonna assume like a 20 some inch pike. That's what I'm gonna guess. Yep, pike. Well, that is the targeted species. <laughs> oh boy. Getting a good workout here on the frostbite drench. Oh, it's not that bad of a pike. It's definitely in, in the 20s. Come here. All right, well, woo, settle down. All right, well, first pike of the day, probably, I don't know, maybe like a low 20s, maybe mid 20s, but not a giant. First one of the day though, you gotta start somewhere. At least I know fish are active, they're in the area, and uh, that's all you can really hope for right away. Um, I don't think I'm gonna get like a ton of action today, like I was saying in the intro. 
but there are a lot of really nice sized pike in here and the suckers I am using are massive. Like I have one out, I'll have to show you guys in a little bit here, but I have one out that is a musky sucker. That thing's probably nine inches or something like that. So uh, if that one goes up, oh boy, it's gonna be a giant. But first pike of the day, gonna get a release. Hopefully not the last one and hopefully they get a lot bigger. Get a release on this guy. Woo, there he goes. All right, let's get another. All right guys, well, see you guys another tip up there. We do have a problem because right there is another tip up. The whole thing about like maybe not getting a lot of action, just bigger fish. Oh, I'm getting the action. I just got done with that first tip up and I got a pretty big spread as you can tell from me being exhausted here. But this fish is running. They made me run, I'm gonna take them. Fish number two, let's see how big she's gonna be. Oh boy, this fish is really running. All right, almost spooled me. There we go. Whew. This one's got a lot of line out. This thing was running. Can't tell the true size yet. Doesn't feel too big, but it feels nice. Probably exhausted because just ran across the lake before I could get here. It feels like it's just coming with me. It doesn't feel like it's fighting at all. What do we have here? Gotta be getting close here. Oh boy. Either that's... What do we have going on here? If this is the fish, this is a big fish. Oh my God, what do we have going on here? Guys, guys, we got a giant. <laughs> that was all the line that he ran and then there was a bunch of slack and now I'm hooked up. Look at this freaking rod bend. Oh God, I still got that other tip up up too. Oh, that's a big fish. Oh boy, this is a big fish. Oh boy. Oh, oh, fish number two is a giant, guys. Let's go. Gotta land it, though. Oh my god. I can't even get this thing up the hole. There's leader. Oh my god. All right, this is gonna be kind of hard to get this thing, get the head through the hole here. There's leader again. Oh my, Woo. this thing does not want to give up. Okay, let's try it again. Here he comes. Come on, he's right at the bottom of the hole. This is where you lose a lot of your fish. Oh God, that's a giant. There we go, oh, oh. come on. Oh, we'll just, we'll take our time. We got nothing but time, Mr. Pike. Nothing but time. There we go. Woo! Well, it's actually not as big as I thought it was, but that for sure is like a mid thirties, which is definitely an upgrade uh, from the first pike of the day. Nice fatty. Yeah, if I had to take a guess, I'm not gonna measure this fish just because it's not a mega giant, but I'd say it's probably like a 35 inch, maybe 36 inch pike. Beautiful Northern Wisconsin pike. All right, hook is out. Got a little, little peck from them, but beautiful, beautiful pike. All right, you guys, get this fish back. Gonna be taking a video for the boys on Instagram if you guys wanna follow us, nb.edits all the behind the scenes stuff. There he goes. That was freaking awesome. Hopefully my hand can stop bleeding. Luckily it's not like super cold out here. It's supposed to be like a high of 30 today. 
But yeah, got that other flag. Let's go check it. See if there's another giant on there. All right. Well, made it to the other flag that was up. Now, this either could be the sucker or this is gonna be a gigantic fight. Um, once I get it up, I'm gonna show you the size of this thing, but it's a musky sucker. I'm not kidding. This thing's gotta be at least nine, 10 inches. So I'm not messing around today. This, man, this thing's running though. It definitely could be a fish. Well, I'll know as soon as I set the hook. He's really running. I'm gonna stop him, take some line out, make sure my drag's good. Probably gonna have to have it pretty tight here. Definitely, definitely a fish. Definitely a fish. Well, this sucker was enormous. Or is it a fish? Feels like I'm just pulling it through weeds. What do we got going on here? I can't tell. There's definitely weeds though, I see that. This could be the same scenario with this last fish where I reeled in a bunch of slack line he was doing a bunch of this and then i'll probably end up feeling them but we'll see all right there's some weight all right there's a lot of weight oh god there's a lot of weight what do we got going on here oh god that's a lot of weight oh my god that's a lot of weight guys okay 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 did you just come off Oh my god, he just came off. Oh, that was a big fish. Guys, all right, he did not have the whole thing, but look at the size of the sucker. And you probably can't tell, maybe you can, but he is all sorts of beat up. I definitely just had a really big northern on. I don't know how he didn't have that, honestly. This thing's been up for an eternity, so he definitely should have had that. Sucker's still alive. I'm gonna reset it, I gotta reset that other tip up. Wow, that had a lot, a lot of weight, like a lot more than the last one, and that one was like mid 30s. Who knows, I could have been a 40 already, but middle's still alive, maybe he didn't feel a hook, I'm gonna reset it and uh, <laughs> cross my fingers that that fish comes back because wow, that was a big fish. Another flag. This one is not running. But that does not mean there's not a fish. Got him. What do we got now? Another pike. Come on, get up here. That's a smaller little pike. Come on. Wow. What the heck? That last one, nice one. And then you go to that. You know, you try to get rid of this size when you're using gigantic suckers, but these things, they are some serious predators and they will eat whatever the heck they want. You know, sometimes it's not uncommon to like catch and clean one of these and they got like a whole seven inch bluegill in their mouth or something crazy like that. These things, they will eat or try to eat anything. It seems like I'm going to go ahead, unhook this guy and uh, hope for another flag and Hopefully get back on that trend of all those big fish. Here we are. It was just taking out some line. Now it's kind of stopped. I don't know if I should take this while it's running or I, I don't know. I really don't because we're talking of a sucker this, this large. So it's obviously, it's going to take a while for there. No matter how big the fish is, it's going to take it a little bit to eat it giving this thing about five minutes hopefully that's enough time to have that thing swallowed down hopefully you didn't drop it not feeling anything oh no oh no oh no i think he got the sucker and everything Nope, wait, there's a fish. There we go. I didn't feel anything. It's all that slack line. All right, well, 
We've got something. We have got something. That's a pretty nice size pike. It's really not that big. I mean, it's, it's nice, but it's not as big as what I thought it was gonna be for the size of the sucker. There we go. Wow, that is not as big as the last one. Because when I set into that last one on this sucker, holy cow, that one was a big fish. This one, not so much. That one's probably upper 20s. That brings me to my point, just like what I said on that last smaller fish, is these guys, they are freaking predators. And they will eat anything that is in front of them. They don't care if it's this big or if it's this big. They're going to eat it. Now, normally, normally I say, you bring bigger bait, you're gonna catch bigger fish. Now, obviously, this is a nice northern, but it's not nearly as big as that other one. And I was only using a sucker about this big, and then this tip up, I had a sucker about this big. So, anything's possible. He must have just been really, really hungry. I was really getting my hopes up after that missed one earlier, but still nice fish, still a nice fight. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead, go try to find a bigger sucker. Again, I don't have any that size. That was the only one I had of that, but I do have some nicer ones. So get this re-rigged up, get him unhooked here, and uh, send him back on his way. All right, there he goes. You can't tell if that's his blood or my blood, but somebody was bleeding. I was able to freaking get the sucker out. That is the size of the sucker that he ate. Looks like he's actually breathing still, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna rehook him. Why not? If he's alive, rehook him and hopefully get another giant on here. Unreal. This thing is running like crazy. This is that dead sucker, well, the barely moving sucker, and it just happened to go up and, well, look who's here now. There we go. Yeah, it's a bigger fish. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yep. Here we go. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's a bigger fish. Oh, boy. Plus, Look it's that. pulling through a lot of weeds, but... Hard to say. If there's no weeds, though, this is a big fish, dude. Yeah. Yeah, hard to say if you're pulling in a lot of weeds or just a massive fish. Look at this. Just absolute standstill. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, a little give. Yeah. Here we go. He got off. He got off. He got off. Oh. A lot of weeds, though. So many weeds. Oh. oh. This minnow is gonna be the death of me, dude. Oh. oh, this one is running like crazy, and the one behind it is running even faster. There we go. There we go. Woo! I forgot how much I actually enjoy pike fishing. We don't do enough of it. No, we don't. Here we go. Leader, nice pike. <laughs> He's just gonna come out. Yep. <laughs> oh, that's another good one. All right, here's my pike. Just broke the line. I'm gonna get that out though. I see it's right here in the snout quick. And uh, we gotta attend that other tip up because I'm worried right now that that thing is gonna be spooled because <laughs> that thing I was looking at it when I was catching this watching this one run and that thing was like you know when it's pike fishing when you see like a blur speed it almost looks like it's not running that's what that was doing I'm actually going to keep this one we're just gonna ice a few pike this lake has more than enough and uh, yeah we don't eat pike but pikes pretty great if you guys get past the Y bone and how slimy and awful they are they taste great but we got a tip up there, and then we just watched another tip up go up past that. So we're gonna go attend those. All right, well, not moving anymore, but as Nick said, it was screaming earlier. So who knows if there's even any line on here. There's not, it's spooled. It is completely spooled. Well, hopefully we catch back up to this fish. Took out a lot of line, maybe he swam back, or I've just got a lot of line here. Let's see what we've got. Wow. This fish was just screaming. Still have not caught up to him. But I do feel tension. Yep, here he is. Oh, 
Oh. He's here. He's here. What the heck? He's here. He ran back? Out. Yep. He ran back a little bit. Feels nice. Did you take my pliers? I did. Okay. Trying to get that other tip up set up. I might need you here. This is a good fish. Unless he's in a lot of weeds, it feels heavy. Oh, he spooled you. Yeah, completely spooled me. I do think he took on some weeds, but this is a nice fish. This feels heavy. There's all sorts of wrap there. This feels heavy. I feel like I'm in the ice, maybe. Oh, he's close now. He switched directions. Here we go. Here's the upper. It's got to be a decent fish. It's not really fighting. It's just, oh, here he goes. Here <laughs> not he really goes. <laughs> That's a nice fish. Feels heavy. Come on up here, show yourself. Still don't know what it is, but I haven't felt any head shake, so I'm thinking gotta be pike. Hopefully a big pike. A lot of weight. No visual. No visual. Here he comes. Leader. Oh, oh. yeah. Oh, that's a giant. Oh. That's 40. Oh. Oh my oh. god. Oh, oh, this is it. <laughs> This just got real exciting. That ah, dude, that was breathtaking to see that thing this, out of the this hole. This is 40. Oh. This is 40. Oh, this, this is, is 40. Why we came out this here. is it. This is the fish. This is the fish of all fish of the night right here. Oh, wow. Not a huge fight, but. I don't even know if it's gonna fit through this eight inch hole. That looked incredibly fat. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, wow. Can you turn him? on the ice. Turn your head. This is enormous. This is enormous. Turn your head. Can you push this. I don't want to do it for you. I don't want to lose the fish for you. No, you're good. Come on. Turn your head. Turn your head. Back up. Oh my god. Guys. This is enormous. Like I'm not trying to exaggerate for the video here. This thing is freaking giant. This is huge. Oh, turn your head. Okay. I'm gonna. Here. I got it. Ooh, oh. I got it for you if you I'll land them. Yep, we're gonna get wet on this one. This is this I'm is big. I'm willing to stick my hand in. This is big. We're gonna get wet. We're gonna get frostbit. Our hands are gonna bleed. This is a giant. This is an absolute giant. Yeah, like per personal best, possibly. Possibly, and I have a 44, so that goes to show how big this is. Oh my, oh, dude, that is, I can't even express how big that is. <laughs> He's getting tired. He's running, but he's getting tired. Look how slow he's pulling away. He's pulling. I'm, I'm just going to tire him out. We got to try and get the snout to the bottom of the hole and just We don't get have enough ice. Right. We're dealing with like this much ice, so we don't have enough to really, like, if that makes any sense, try to get him up through it. My heart is racing right now. My heart is absolutely racing. Okay, this could be it. At the leader. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Look at how big that thing is. Snout's coming up. Oh, darn it, darn it, darn it. Okay, I think one more good run. It looks so like he's hard. hooked good. Yeah. I almost so had him. Oh my gosh. Well, this is probably going to be the best fight I've ever had on a tip up, I think. Wow. Almost fortunate this wasn't on an iFish Pro. Yeah, this would be, this, oh. I'm still amazed every time I lift it. The girth on this fish, guys. Head turning. Oh, man. Oh, he's just. I'm going all in on this one. <laughs> this next one, I'm going all in. I don't even care. I'm not going to give him the chance to do that this time. Wow. <laughs> I, I'm speechless right now. Here we go. We're back at the leader. Okay. Oh, man. Back it up. Go back through. It broke. It no! Broke. No, no! No, he broke! No! No. Oh, no. Ah. 
shoot. I'm sorry. Oh, that was so hard to get his head to turn. Well, it was up. The problem was here is he was so, uh, guys, I wish I could have shown you, I should have picked up the camera, but I was too worried about landing this fish. I couldn't back it up far enough. And then every time, like I almost had his gill plate and then that last final one, I felt tension. I tried to pull back and then it was just down to it. Such a big fish, sharp, such sharp teeth. I can't even talk. <laughs> Dude, that was 42 all day. Dude, that oh was mid 40s. The girth, God. guys, the girth. It would have been interesting actually once the like the gut of this fish actually got through the hole. I'm not kidding. This is an eight inch hole. It for sure would have filled the whole thing. When, when you could just see when he was straight horizontal with the hole, the back to the gut was just like this. I'm not joking. This fish was all of 40. Wow. We're using 35 pound mono <laughs> and it just snapped it like that. Like that, like nothing. Big, big, big fish. Well, it we happens guys. Wow. Uh, I feel like I lost that fish for you. Yeah, I was, what can you do? What can a guy do? I couldn't have done it really myself. That fish was too big. We had to have two people and you had to just... I guess we had to wear it down even more. Yeah. I thought he. I thought that was it because the that last was, time I almost had it. It was like the third or fourth, fifth time. I don't even know how many times we got it to come up and at least try to get the beak to come up on that fish and just... It's powerful. How do you wear out a fish of that mass? I mean, this was... I don't know. It... 40 might even be an understatement. I'm not talking, that was, that was the, I'm gonna say this. I don't know if it was the longest, 100%, that was the widest pike I've ever seen no, it filled in my whole hole. life. It, it filled the entire thing and made an eight inch hole look small, like I, tiny. I should have showed it. Oh, okay, we got another one to tend. It's probably a 20 inch pike. Maybe it's another 40. Let's go do it. Oh, she's moving. Well, here we go at that other tip up, still speechless. Still absolutely speechless. Look at this thing run. Oh, there we go, feels good. I really wish guys, I, I'm not gonna be over that for the entirety of forever. <laughs> like I'm not even kidding. I had my hands on that fish four times. I just wish I would have done a better job of showing you in the hole, just so you guys could really see Could it. really see like, the size. Oh wow, interesting. There we go. Ow. Ooh. That one hurt. He's wild. He is all sorts of revved up. Well, this is what was on the other tip up. Ah. <laughs> that pike would have ate that. Yeah, yeah, no, the last pike we had on, I wish you guys could have seen it, but it would have ate this. Um, this is bait compared to the other one, but hey, another good pike regardless. Man, still speechless, don't know exactly what to say. Kind of at a loss of words right now, guys. That was, I think by far, we've was, seen some big pike, but I think that was by far the biggest pike you and I've seen together. Pretty sure that was TV. Yep. That was so big. <laughs> Dude, like, I can't even believe how big that pike was. Nope, I can't either. Dude, that was <laughs> God, I could cry. Yep, I, I could too. Cry on that one. Why does? Why can't we catch that? Dude, we catch that. <sighs> Damn. Well, we stuck around a little bit. It paid off. We got another high fish pro up. Sunset is just happening. It's freaking gorgeous. This fish was just running. So. that time where it could be a walleye, could be a pike, really could be anything it wants to be, but ideally it could be a walleye right now. That would be pretty cool. Mm, that's not pretty cool. Yep, yep, that's pretty cool. Swam back. They've been good at that today. Could pike. be a pike. Ah. Oh gosh. Get up here. <laughs> oh. Well, 
Could be the last fish of the day for us. Not gonna bore you guys with a whole bunch more of these if we get them the rest of the night. But if we do catch a walleye, you bet your ass we're gonna show you that one. But could be the last fish potentially. We probably are only gonna stick around for another, I don't know, 30, 40 minutes or so, something like that. Just because we do have an important date with the TV. Uh, we have to watch the Packers beat the crap out of the Lions to go to the playoffs tonight. So that is our special date. That's why we're leaving. Um, but realistically, I have been here all freaking day. I got here at sunrise and now it's sunset. So I put in the, put in the work today and uh, yeah, it's it's been fun, but potentially last fish. Never know what'll happen, but yeah. Oh, well, you guys, that is probably where we are going to end today's video. We wanted to stay just a little bit into the night just to maybe get a walleye, you know, cause we catch some big walleyes here too, which is cool. Uh, so like, it's really hard to leave. But like I said, we got the Packer game. Overall, fantastic day. Started off the day just myself, solo. And you know, I had that like mid thirties and then obviously I lost what I believe to be a 40 inch pike on that giant sucker. Um, lost one other one on it, which was probably pretty nice as well. Brandon shows up and he lost like the biggest pike of his life. Yeah. I wish replaying it over and over in my head. Um, there's so many things I wish I could have done differently in that situation, but overall there was really nothing we could have done. Um, the only thing that maybe would have caught that fish would have been metal leader, but who knows if he would have even a bit, right. you know, with a metal leader. So it's one of those it's things. Tough. And I wish I would have had the camera. Like if I could have shown you guys the size of this fish through the hole, cause we had it up like four times and this thing, it 45, like no joke. Yeah. Like <laughs> all day. I, it's just absolutely insane. But I've never that's fishing. Seen a fish like that. Never. It's fishing and it makes you want to come back, which yeah. we definitely will be doing. If you guys enjoy pike fishing, let us know down in the comments because we don't do it enough, uh, but it is one thing that we really do enjoy. Oh yeah, it's one of our favorites. We just yeah, don't do we it. We just enough. never film it and never do it. A lot of the lakes we fish are just strictly walleye lakes, not a lot of pike production, but this lake obviously does. So if this is something, let us know because if you guys, enough people let us know that you want to see this, we will film more of it. I think I've got enough pushing me to come out here to do yeah, it some absolutely. more today. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed today's video, please make sure, give it a thumbs up. Let us know down in the comment section again, if this is a video you want to see more of, or just any other recommendations you guys have for us. We still have a lot of ice left. It's definitely not going away anytime soon. We probably got another at least two months of it, Easily. unfortunately, but <laughs> we do have at least two solid months. So leave those recommendations down below as well. We are going to get on out of here. That's really all we got. Yep. So yep. thank you guys again for watching. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Tight lines from MB Edits. All right, guys, now it is finally time to do the giveaway for the two PC Fun reels. Now, if I go ahead and turn the camera around, you can see this is the video that we did the giveaway on. You can see all the different comments on the video. Now, what I'm gonna be doing for this giveaway is I picked a random YouTube comment picker. So basically what that is, is I put the URL for the video in, I clicked get YouTube comments. 362 of you guys put in for the giveaway. I filtered out duplicates because you're only allowed one entry. I have two winners selected. And basically now I'm just going to start the raffle, pick the winners. And if you guys see your name on the screen, you guys are the lucky winners of the giveaway. So I'm gonna go ahead, pick the winners. And winner number one, we have Lake Country Fam. Love the channel, I love the target wallet, but last couple of years have been getting pike. Great comments. And winner number two, we have Y Tay. Awesome video. You'll get the footage of Trophy Wallet with the Markham soon. Really recently purchased Frostbite Drench, Tantrums, and Dinner Bells. Have an ice fishing trip planned later in January at Butternut and will be on my second time ice fishing. First time only caught a smaller pike on a tip up. 
but hoping to land some while. I appreciate you guys for all the effort you put into making great videos and sharing your knowledge. Well, thank you guys for the comments. That one was really nice to read and we appreciate it. Now, thank you guys for all the support and the comments and everybody else who entered in the giveaway. We really do appreciate it. Um, it means a lot and don't worry, this won't be the last giveaway. We have lots of other giveaways we wanna do throughout this year, so make sure you guys stay tuned for those. But again, thank you for everybody who put in and thank you for the guys that won. If you guys are the two lucky winners that I named in this video, reach out to us on Instagram or Facebook, whichever one you have, nb.edits. Go into our DMs, send us a message, and we'll sort through all the rest of the stuff that we gotta do to get you guys the reels. But that is where I am going to end today's video. Thank you guys for making it this far. I know today's video was a long one. It was the longest video we've ever put out on the channel. So thank you guys for sticking around uh, and entering the giveaway, watching the video, subscribing, all that good stuff. Thank you guys, we appreciate it. If you enjoyed today's video, again, leave this video a thumbs up. Make sure to leave a comment down below future videos you guys want to see on the channel. And I will talk to you guys on the next one. Tight Lines from NBA.